sewing a jumpsuit refashion project that's coming up. Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Queen Geely. And if you're interested in refashioning projects, old or even new clothing, consider subscribing and let's get started. So this is episode three of the refashioning for a jumpsuit. So we have now joined, or I have, I have now joined the jacket to the pants. So in this episode, I am, and this is the final episode, I am going to be just recapping on what I've done so far and hopefully it will be able to help you when you're making yours. So I'll bring the camera down shortly so that we can have a look on the inside of my jumpsuit. And also, I just want to say that I haven't got around to um, fixing my <laughs> overlocker, so I haven't neatened off the seam inside. But I'll talk to you through that as we are examining what I've done. So let's get into it. Okay, so let's just have a look on the outside. As you can see, it's joined. It really is a very comfortable fit as well, so I really am pleased with the outcome of this project. So let me just, so here's the button. And if you are going to have any problems, it will be the button fastening, the button hole, because we're kind of putting the button through, not kind of, we are putting the button through two button holes. So you've got the button hole of the jacket and then the button hole of the pants. So it's going through two thicknesses and um, you just have to make sure that it's lined up pretty much really, really well so that you don't have any problems putting the button through. It's a lot easier when you've got it on actually, I find. No, that's okay. As you can see, um, if you are having any problems then I suppose what you could do is maybe kind of cutting into the buttonhole and making it a little bit more bigger so that it enables you to get the button in and out both of the fitnesses. That may help. Um, is there anything else? No, there isn't. That, that's the only option really to do that. Um, but it's a refashion project and these are the problems you're going to come across that you maybe we shouldn't think of them as problems because it's refashioning you know we're doing something that wasn't the initial um, design to the garment so and if you want to keep on refashioning these are the kind of little niggly bits that you've got to get used to when you're refashioning garments so I'm happy with it um, and yeah, it's not going to cause any problems. It's not going to fall down or anything like that. So that's, I suppose, definitely is a plus. So I'm just going to cut off any loose threads that I see. There we go. Then the pockets are fine. And as you can see here, where it had to be gathered in a little bit on each side. And that's because of, there's elastication in the pants. You may or may not have that. Um, let me see, so this is the front, let me just turn it over to the back. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice, nice aesthetic look to the back as well. And as you can see, there's slight gathering as well. And the gathering really is just about to help the jacket fit more snugly into the waistline of the pants. But no, that's a good lineup. I like that. Let's turn it back over. Let's have a look on the inside. Okay, so as you can see, I've got raw edges and I will be cutting this excess of fabric away and then I will definitely overlock. As you can see, there's a bit more in the back than there is the front, which is fine. It all depends on your body shape. So, no, I'm, I'm happy with that. Yeah, the button, so I'm just cutting that. Right, I'll 
I'll do mine, cut mine away so that you can see what I'm going to do. In case you follow the same process I did where you left the overlocking or the surgeon towards the end of the project, but as I said um, in previous episodes, so episode one and two will be in the description, um, you can actually do it at the time of when you cut the jacket. So, yeah. Just an easy plus, just make sure you're not cutting into the pants. Just feel underneath. Probably it would be better starting this end because that way you're just cutting off so the pants is like towards you and the cut edge is away from you. Just cut that all the way around. Just be careful because you remember if you're doing it this way um, you're going to have gatherings in which to kind of make sure that you cut into it in as straight a line as possible. And there we go. So when I show you this next, it will be overlocked when I can get around to putting out my overlocker. I think my overlocker is just jealous really. I think she really is that I don't use her as often as I use my sewing machine. So she plays up and she's quite old as well, but I do love my overlocker. So yeah, so that would be all neatened off on my overlocker. Let's see, so the buttonhole we've talked about, I'm happy with what's happening there. And right, let's talk about this area here. So in order to remove the button from the jacket, we had to cut into it because I didn't have any pliers. But if you have pliers, then watch um, this second video where I talk about the buttonhole um, in more detail. And in order to get this, because I clipped into the actual front of the jacket in order to remove the button. And so it just left a little slit. So what I did was I just backed it. What you could, what I should have thought about really was putting this section on top so it would be hidden inside. That would have probably been a better option, I would have thought. Yeah, for sure, definitely. Just cutting away my threads there. Just finishing off my work. So you can always bear that in mind that this, this little patch here, self-made patch here, can be hidden inside. Yeah, that could be on the inside. So on the sewing machine, I actually put it underneath and then zigzag on, um, on top of the little slit opening. And what you can do is like, you can like work in blind where you put a little patch onto, on top of, so the patch is um, showing through. So you see the patch rather than it being under the work, it's on top of the actual slit opening. And that would have been hidden inside there, inside that little opening there. So you'd have a much more neater finish. But that's fine. These are lessons we learn as we go along. And yeah, let's see. I'll stick that up. That's fine. This is over there. Let's see. Just checking the centre front line. The lines. Yep, I'm happy with that and then just button through all that thickness that's there which shouldn't cause too much of an issue especially someone who's got long nails and likes to have long nails no that's fine it's up fine yep I'm happy with that let's 
yeah, happy with that. So that was a fun project. I enjoyed doing that. I'm starting to enjoy the process of refashioning of old garments in particular. It can also be new. And I'm finding that I am making choices in order to make sure that the garments last a long time, the second time around. So I'm all for sustainability and making your own clothes is part of that process. And also refashioning of old or even new clothing is also part of that process too. So I'm going to continue with a, a series of different garments. And I'm going to try to make sure that I keep them to an episode of at least three max in order to get these projects completed and show you the whole process of how I get how I get started and how I actually end up with whatever kind of garment that I'm aiming for. So hopefully you enjoyed this series. And if you do, what would be really, really helpful for me is if you can put in the comments some ideas of stuff that you want me to refashion. Um, and I'm more than willing to consider that also. And if you have any queries or questions about this episode of sewing a jumpsuit then please put those in the comments below as well and if you're new to my channel then please do consider subscribing because that way i can keep on with the process of refashioning and also remember to hit the bell because the bell is um, and gives you notifications of when i upload videos so um, i hope you enjoyed this project and if you did please give it a thumbs up and do share 